Today on Weapons Talk, we're going to be talking about the Kanabo. A weapon used by the samurai or the Japanese. Yeah, okay. Okay. So the Kanabos were these three, no, these two and a half long piece of wood. And yeah, you know what they're used for? Where it was? They were used to break shields. Now, they were made out of this long piece of wood carved into this little bath thing. And then they have a hundred metal balls or beads lodged into the wood. So they put them there, stick them on, you know. And then there, you got a perfect military weapon. So let's say your enemy has a wooden shield or a material that can be easily, you know, broken. Samurai's fighting that guy. He can't get through the shield. but So he uses his pulled out his kanabo and slams it down to the shield and breaks it in one or two goes. And the enemy is like, what the fuck? Yeah, the kanabo will just freaking break, break, and break. We could just break any shields. But it can't break metal sh- or bronze shields, you know, like the Spartan shield, yeah. Yeah, but anyways, the Kanapa was a deadly weapon other, other, like, you know, nevertheless. It could break skulls, it could shatter your bones, yeah, now and then. But it was a pretty heavy weapon, weighing up to around 3 to 4 pounds. Also, it took some elbow grease to lift this motherfucker up. But if you were strong enough to hold it with one or two hands, then you were a beast. But anyways, the rating I give this weapon of shields... Weapon of shield destruction is a 30 out of 50. Oh, yeah, the 30 out of 50. It was an effective weapon that could break these shields and it, could, it can use its use once in a while. But the the freaking the problem about it is, is that it was freaking heavy, so you're just gonna be swinging this thing around. But it could break through some sh- some shields, you know. So yeah, that gives it a lot of use. It could break bones and skulls. So anyway, thanks for joining me on my weapon talk. I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.